Welcome to the Dragons. This video will take you through the Dragon Cycle number two, which will lead us to the Winged Dragon, a very deep and juicy pose for the hips. You'll be in the pose for about five minutes in total, but please listen to your body. If you need to come out earlier, please do so. We're going to head towards the Winged Dragon. We'll begin by coming onto all fours. Step a foot between your palms. Walk the foot forward, bring the knee right above the heel, tuck the back to under, slide the back knee away. Now first, check the back kneecap. Make sure it feels comfortable. As always, if the kneecap hurts, you can put some support, a towel or a blanket underneath the kneecap. Another option is to put a bolster or a block or something underneath the shin so that the knee is actually floating. Come to where this is doable. You want to lean heavy into the hands now. We're starting with the baby dragon, the hands on either side of the front foot, and you lean forward into it. Some people prefer a block underneath the hand. If that helps you, go ahead. You want to feel some stress into the outside of the front hip, the top of the back thigh. So allow yourself to get heavy here. And then become still. six inches to the outer edge of your mat, and that allows your shoulder to come inside the knee. We're going to transition to the low flying drive. So to start, you can just rest your hands on the floor, or if you're feeling a little bit more open, walk the hands a bit more forward. That'll bring your hips a little bit lower, making this a bit juicier. In time, maybe you can bring your uh, opposite elbow onto a block, maybe both elbows onto a block. If you're more open, you might not need the blocks. Yeah, what's more important here than what we do is how we do what we do. So just come to the place where you can feel this. If you're feeling it, you're doing it. And then just let it soak in. Inside the front foot, that prevents the foot from sliding inward and making this into a pigeon pose. And then just flap your wing, just let the knee go up and down. So you're rolling onto the edge of the foot, opening up through the hip socket. This is lubricating the hip socket. And then when the knee is about as low as it's going to go, just stay there. You're in the winged dragon, which is a deep stress into the hip socket. And you can hang out here with the arms locked straight under you. Or you can walk the hands forward. Again, all the options, you can come down with maybe just one elbow, eventually both elbows. Again, we're not trying to break anything, so just hang out where it's doable. It will be challenging, but it should never be painful.
version of the winged dragon for the type A yogis who don't feel like they're getting your money's worth unless they really get juicy here. And that's to tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee up. This is known as the fire breathing dragon. It puts more stress into the hip sockets. It's a bit young like so you may not be able to stay here too long. Side the foot, tuck the back toe under, and again with joy, with a song, step back to downward facing dog. Oh. Linger here as long as you like, and when you feel it's time, sit back in the child's pose. child's pose and move into your next posture. Remember if you're doing the other side of the winged dragon, make sure you do step the other foot forward in the next round. 